Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to load recent searches as autocomplete by using JavaScript with PHP script and MySQL database. Under this feature, when user has searched something, then that search query will be stored in database, and when user again come on search text box, then their recent search query list will be display as autocomplete recent searches. So if user want to search something, which they already search, then user can search again same query without writing in search box, and directly click on recent searches autofill data. So this feature we will add, under autocomplete text box, which we have made in last tutorial, so now we will make autocomplete text box, with recent searches, using javascript fetch api with php and mysql database now let's start discussing this topic so this is our testing database and under this we have one recent search table with table column like id and search query under this table we will store user recent search data and then after we will fetch recent search data from this table and display on web page as text box auto complete feature when user again come on search text box this is our working folder and here we have used same code which we have write in previous tutorial for make auto complete text box so first we have open index.html file and go to javascript code and here we have to get text function this function has been called when user has click on any list of autocomplete result, then that selected list text will be display in search text box, and other autocomplete data will be removed. So here, when user click, then their search query must be store in database, so under this function, we will use javascript fetch api method, for insert recent search data. So here we have write fetch method, with two argument, in first argument, we have write process data.php, so it will send Ajax request to this PHP file, and in second argument, we have to write options. So in first option, we have write method, and here we have write post, so here we have add method type. In second option, we have write body, so here we have to define content, which we want to send. So here we have write json.stringify method, it will convert data into json data type. So under this method, we have write search query as key, and in value, we have write string variable value, so this data will be sent with ajax request. Next we want to add headers to the request, so here we have write headers option, and under this, we have write content type with application slash json after define option now we have write dot then callback function so this function will receive response from server and under this function we have write return statement with response.json method, so it will convert response in JSON format. Next, we have again write then callback function. This function display content on web page. This function will call on success with received data from server. So under this function, we have put this code. So when request has been completed successfully, then selected text will be display in search box, and other autofill data will be removed from web page. Now we have go to process data.php file, and this file will received JSON data from Ajax request, so we want to convert that data into PHP array, and here we have write dollar post data variable is equal to JSON decode function. This function will convert JSON data into PHP array. Then after under this function, we have write file get contents function, and under this, 
we have write php double colon double slash input. So it has get JSON data, and that data will be converted into PHP array, and store under this dollar post data variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post data, with search query variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal array, and under this array key, we have write double colon search query, and in value, we have write dollar post search query variable. Now we want to check particular text is already inserted or not. If search query is unique, then only inserted into database. So for check these things, we have first write dollar query variable is equal to select search ID from recent search table, where search query is equal to double colon search query. Below this search query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this, we have write dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. Now we want to execute above select query, so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, with dollar data variable, this method will execute above query. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with row count method is equal to zero, this condition will be true, if particular search data is not exists in recent search table, and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, now we want to insert data into recent search table, so for this, here we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into recent search with table column like search query and values like double colon search query below this insert query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable and next for execute query we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this, we have write dollar data variable, so it will execute above query, and insert data into recent search table. After this, for send response to fetch API, here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, and in array key, we have write success, and in value we have write true. Now we want to send this data to JavaScript fetch API in JSON format. So here we have write JSON encode method. And under this, we have write dollar output variable. So here store search data in database code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends here we can see that when page has been load in browser, then one text box has been display on web page. Now here we have type PHP in search text box, then we can see auto suggestion result below text box, now we have select this option, so we have click on this option, and after click on option, other auto suggestion has been removed, and select option text has been display in search box. Now we have go to database, and see selected search data has been stored in database or not. So here we can see data has been stored in database. Now we want to fetch this data. When again user has come on search text box, then this recent search data will be display first on focus of search text box. For this, we have go to index.html file, and here we have make load search history function. This function will send Ajax request to PHP script for fetch recent search data using JavaScript Fetch API. Under this function, we have write search query variable is equal to document.getElementById method, and under this, we have write text box name search box, 
with zero index dot value, so it will get value of search text box. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write search query variable value is equal to blank, so if this variable has blank value, then only it will execute if block of code. So under this block, we have write fetch method, with two argument, in first argument, we have write process data dot php, so it will send ajax request to this php file, and in second argument, we will write options. So in first option, we have write method, and here we have write post, so here we have add method type. In second option, we have write body, so here we have to define content, which we want to send, so here we have write json.stringify method, it will convert data into json data type. So under this method, we have write action as key, and in value, we have write fetch, so this data will be sent with ajax request. Next we want to add headers to the request, so here we have write headers option, and under this, we have write content type, with application slash json. After define option, now we have write dot then callback function, so this function will receive response from server. And under this function, we have write return statement, with response dot json method, so it will convert response in json format. Next, we have again write then callback function, from this function we can see data in json format, which we can get from this response data variable. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write response data dot length value is greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write html variable is equal to, an order list tag, with class is equal to list group. Below this, we have write html variable, and under this we have append html code like, list tag, with class is equal to list group item, with text like your recent searches, so this will be display at header of autocomplete list of data. Now we want to fetch data from response data variable, so for this, here we have write, for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable is equal to zero, count variable value is less than, then value of response data dot length, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write HTML variable, and under this we have append HTML code like list tag, with class is equal to list group item, and text muted. After this, we have write on click event is equal to, get text method, with this argument, so when user click on option, then that option text will be display in search text box, and other result will be removed. Between this, for display history icon, here we have write font awesome clock icon, so it will display clock icon, with recent search text. After this, for display recent search data, here we have write response data variable with count index, so it will display recent search text. Lastly, we want to display remove icon, for remove recent search data from list of data, so here we have write this font or some delete icon code, so it will display delete icon with recent search result, so user can also remove their recent search data, by click on this icon. Now here we have store all data, under this HTML variable, now we want to display this data, in span tag with id search result, so for this, here we have write document.get element by id method, 
and under this, we have write search result dot in the HTML is equal to HTML variable, so it will display recent search data. Now we have go to search text box, and here we have write on focus event is equal to JavaScript load search history function, so when user has come on this search box, then it will call this load search history function, and display recent search data in autocomplete text box. Now we have go to process data.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post data action variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from recent search table, order by search ID in descending order, with limit 10 records, so this query will fetch latest 10 records from table. Below this query, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method, and under this, we have write dollar query variable, so this method will execute about query, and return query execution result in array format. Now for fetch data from dollar result variable, so here we have write for each loop, and under this, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar row search query variable. So on every loop, it will store data under this dollar data variable. Lastly, we want to send data to fetch API in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method. And under this, we have write dollar data variable. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, we have already do one search query, and that search query data already store in recent search table. Now we have refresh page, and check, it has display our recent search history in autocomplete text box. So now we have click on search text box, and here we can see that auto suggestion has been display below search box, before writing something in text box, this is our recent search history data. Now we have type something in search text box. So after type something in text box, then recent search autocomplete data has been removed and filter data has been display. Now from this option, we have again select this option and after selecting option, other autocomplete data has been removed. Now we have refresh page and after refresh of page, we have click on search text box, and after click it has display autocomplete with recent search data, so on every search, user search query data will be stored in database, and when user again come on search text box, then they can view which data they have search in past. This type of feature, we can see many social media and e-commerce site, so it want to add some new feature in your web application, then this is very interesting feature, which has load recent search data in autocomplete text box, by using JavaScript fetch API with PHP and MySQL database. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box, if you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also, and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorial.